All right, it's uh, Monday and I'm back on my clay. I'm going to raise his arm a little bit because uh, I have it too low. And uh, for it to work, I need to have it up higher. And also, you can see on my uh, iPad that I've got a uh, reference for a uh, upper Missouri River uh, Native American headdress, buffalo horn headdress. Only a few warriors were ever allowed in one tribe to wear a buffalo horn headdress. You had to be a very, very accomplished warrior. And uh, that's why you don't see a lot of uh, photographs of Native Americans wearing buffalo he horn headdresses. Anyway, let's go on to work on this and uh, see how far I get today. Time to play with some clay. I just got another five pounds of this clay. I'm going to do some more sculpting in it. I, I'm kind of liking it. Although right now I got a big lump of uh, soft clay here for his arm. And it makes it hard for me to work on his robe. Until that part of the clay stiffens up a bit. And so I'll have to probably work around this. I debated on whether to put a, a leather shirt on him. But uh, I decided not to. I, I wanted to show his age and the ravages of time on his body. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this arm yet. Yeah, I've approached this uh, piece a whole lot different than I do most of my pieces. I usually start out with a face. But this one, I'm doing the face last, almost. And I guess it's because I'm what I'm doing is I'm building up a character in everything else. And that will determine the face. At least, that's my thinking. I don't have an armature in his arm. That's the reason why I can... Move it like it has no arm, no bones. <laughs> I know it looks weird. In fact, I'm going to take that arm off. I'll work on the texture of the back, ro back of the robe. It gets a little more firm. All right. I think I'm going to start the face on this guy.
I cover a lot of this in one of my a couple of my instructional videos on creating a face, uh, creating a bust. On my videos that I create human beings, which are Western genre, but uh, what I show in my videos can be applied to any genre or whatever the term is. The mouth is very important, so are the eyes. It's time to put the hat band on. I'm going to let that uh, sit overnight because that'll stiffen up and that'll work out well for me. And then I'm going to do the horns on the side of the headdress and all that stuff. I think you can see how it's going to look in the long run. I mean, really, all I'm doing is moving shadows or creating shadows until the whole thing looks like it's supposed to. That's all sculpture is, is creating shadows. All right, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.